Well, I was at Radio Devon, obviously doing the radio, and it was a fantastic game. I really enjoyed it. I mean, we, we go from watching Tyler Harvey getting a free kick opportunity, you know, 25 yards out, striking it beautifully into the top right-hand corner. No chance the keeper could have saved it. Then he goes and gets the ball at his feet, plays a beautiful ball in for the second goal. Yeah. And, it, and to be fair, man of the match appearance he made. Okay. Curtis Nelton was huge all day. Six foot four, big presence, you know, athlete. Then he goes and gets a great goal at the end of the game. I think it was the 84th minute to, to finish the game off 3-0, comfortable. You know, they didn't have anything to worry about from the Exeter side. Why, why was that? We know Exeter City have come out of a transfer embargo. They've had that lifted now and they gave a debut to Graham Cummins who came you know, on as a substitute. I mean, is it early days for Exeter? Can they overcome their early season problems? I think so. I think they've got a good squad. I think it was very early on for them. Really, really too early to, to play a Plymouth, strong Plymouth side. Yeah. Well, our gala are here tomorrow night against Stephen Inge. Exeter City go to Burton Albion. Into League One. What a terrible start for Yeovil Town. Played two league games plus a League Cup tie. Lost the lot. This time against Gillingham 2 0 in Kent on Saturday. And they missed a penalty. How on earth have they got off to a bad start after being relegated from the championship, Guy? It was a tale of two bad tackles and two bad penalties. And Gary Johnson mentioned, you know, the confidence of Kiefer Moore. You know, he'd been missing a lot of opportunities and his penalty has shown that. I think it's about having characters within the dressing room to take that ball off him and, and take someone else to take the penalty. And then again, the other penalty, Kedwell, had a terrible, terrible penalty and then he, he goes and scores it. And that's the difference between the two forwards from time to time. Yeovil are at Walsall tomorrow night. Let's have a quick mention to finish off with. Torquay United in the conference now. Played three, won one, drawn one, lost one. Uh, how do you assess their start to the season? I think Chris Hargreaves, obviously the Torquay manager, will be very happy with that. You know, four points against two very good sides when I talk about Gateshead and obviously Southport is a good start for him and he'll be happy. Guy, lovely to have your company. We'll see you again soon. Thanks, Dave.